Okay, hi. Here, here is a tutorial for how to use the Sotavento Media's Daily Search Engine Ranking Console. First of all, bring your browser to this website address, customer.sotaventomedias.com backslash login. For this demo, I'll be using Robert's account. So, um, if you haven't received your email invitation link on, on um, signing up for this account, get the email from us again. Uh, send us an email or WhatsApp to us and we send you the invitation link again. Okay, so let's get started. So, um, let's click login. Once you are logged in, at this screen you are seeing is your dashboard. Okay, uh, over at the top right hand corner, you see this white square with the three dots. Yes, you can choose to switch mode to dark mode or white mode, up to your own personal preference. Okay, over here, this customer has three websites. I'm managing three websites for him, so you will see three graphs over here. Of course, you can choose to add your own graph from this way. Okay, just click add item and you can add your own graph. Uh, by default, all of the accounts come with no graphs. Now, let's take a look at one of the accounts. Let's go into Spring Forest Studio for this example. So, the moment you click on your link, you will see this thing called the overview. Overview 22.5, it means that this customer, his average ranking for the keywords is set 22.5. Okay, average ranking for all the keywords. Okay, this is linked to your Google Analytics and Google Search Console. Uh, so, reports are being pulled out from there as well. Okay, let's go into this search visibility. Search visibility, it means the number of index pages indexed by Google, search visibility percentage, and etc. over here, you can see. Very straightforward. At any point of time, you do not know what does each of the um, area means. There's a small little eye over here, you can mouse over and give you the information. Okay, and when you mouse over certain areas, you can actually see all the information as well. Graphical wise, very nice. Okay. Then, uh, it's having a heavy storm right now, so a bit noisy. But, okay. So you see over here, ranking, rank. All of these keywords rank number one, number one, number one, number one on the Google search page. If you were to see this little thing by the side, good news. It means that you are under a Google featured snippet. That means, um, if you were to search within Google for the keyword, example, this one. Okay, so let's copy this. Tap. Paste the keyword in, you will see that. Uh, let me go to incognito mode. You will see that it brings out the results as a snippet, as a featured snippet. When people search for this term, your website will come out as a featured snippet. Okay, uh, those of you who have uh, seek my advice on certain type of keywords should have this feature snippet um, feature. Okay, so next. Over here you can see here is evolution. This evolution over here, if you see, is a constant straight line. It means throughout the daily rankings, it's all at the first position. There are no changes to it. When you see there's the small little dam here and up, it means it's from number 2 position and it rolls up all the way to number 1 position and it remains number 1 position constantly for various keywords. Some of them, there are fluctuations, you can mouse over them, you can see the information. But most of them are quite constant. Okay, next. Over here, 
you can see this thing is under search volume global search volume search volume local okay sorry about that huh? yeah so this search volume is you can just click on it and they refresh and they will sort by search volume if you do not want to check by search volume you can actually track by other metrics as well okay click on this edit tab by the side okay everyone is all clickable huh? okay and they have the same thing so you can check by um up to you daily change weekly change or you can check by uh cost per click how much does it cost if you were to advertise on google so average cost per click local average cost per click global up to you so you just click on average cost per click cost per click okay cbc local cbc local cbc global so you can see that on local this keyword there's no cost to it um this one you need to have your an active google ads account and you can see the ads cost but generally the cost is over here this is what you will see at the same as google keyword planner you can sort them out by the pricing to know the various pricing for various keywords if you were to do an advertisement onto google okay yes certain keywords you will see like a slash a slash means is is not yet being ranked okay or the rank may be just up and down and it drop back again so you can actually see the evolution from here now over to the right hand corner you will see this little graph chart click on it and it will show you the metrics day month day week and month for that particular keyword okay so now let's move on into this section here graphs is pretty uh okay let's continue at keywords first eh? keywords all keywords keywords went up keywords went down okay keywords went down you can see these are the keywords that went down in position over the last day 24 hours close this um, let me just close this okay and keywords that went up in the past 24 hours these are the keywords that went, went up in the past 24 hours. Previous rank, current rank, okay. Went up by one position, went up by one position, went up by seven position. Currently rank over here is rank, current rank is rank 49. It means it's at page five, number nine. 18 means page two, number eight. And this one 12, page two, number two. Single digit means it's on the first page of the search engine. Okay, now let's move on to here yeah, graphs. Graph. This is linked to your Google Analytics. Some of you has um, the option to add in your competitor websites into it for competitor tracking. So if you have competitor tracking, you will see them over here as well. Next, the next is Google Analytics data, Google Search Console data as well. It's all extracted out from your search engine, uh, from your console. Or you can just set a new graph. What type of graphs would you like to see? You can do a configuration from here. Leave notes if you want. Backlinks. Backlinks is to track the number of backlinks that you have um, for your site. We are tracking only for backlinks with a URL rating of 30 and above. So anything less than 30, it will not be shown over here. You can actually sort this out and you can actually track that uh, our SEO efforts are, are being done. You can actually track all this. You can see uh, last seen a few days ago all the way to uh last seen maybe in 2020 
uh, depends on when you start your campaign with us okay so these are all the backlinks um, being updated on a daily basis over at the top right hand side here you see a bell icon if you want to click on the bell icon you can also see the notifications these notifications will not be emailed to you and will it will only be accessible when you log into your dashboard okay now let's move on into site audit so this site audit is being scheduled every month you can see that the site is pretty okay but this customer is not on our VPS hosting package is on his own hosting package at Vodian. Vodian is pretty good but shared hosting is not recommended that is why the site health is pretty low it's only at three percent advisable to change to our VPS package so you click on here audit checks and this is a summary and you can see that page too slow because of the hosting sites generally the page loading is too slow so all the pages which are loading but generally is still okay because the search engine rankings are there if the page speed increase hosting package is being changed you can see more rankings faster and higher visibility okay next over here okay if you would like to have a new report being crawled over here you can see this uh yeah new crawl okay and they will get you the new data but it's actually been blocked right now and it will automatic refresh every month if you would like to have a daily audit report please contact us uh for pricing yes okay and then over here reports reports over here is you can customize the report to be sent to you by email at the top right hand side here you click add report what type of report you would like to see you would like to see a basic report a progress report or a competitor report if you like to add competitor sites please contact us and give us the competitors website link so we can add it into your system okay so Normally, we will use as progress report. Whatever fields you want to add into your report, very easy. There's a blue color drop down here. Add what fields you want to see. You want to see the keyword list. You would like to see your traffic overview. Then you will see your traffic overview. Drag to the location of where you want the report to be. A live demo, a live preview will be shown on the right hand side of the screen. And the date range okay date range which is over here you want to see the report based on last seven days last two days or in the last month so they will show you accordingly and this is how you receive in your email okay and there's no limit to number of um, number of information you want to add to your report you can add your site audit report into it you can add graphs if you want select the type of graph you want to google analytics graph you want to google search console graph uh what type of graphs you will need to understand how to use google analytics and google search console if you do not understand you can actually leave this out or you can just exit to close it okay then over here schedule would you like to schedule this report to be sent to an email to you if yes you click on schedule over here select your frequency of the report you want if weekly what day if daily what time so on and so forth okay and over here you enter your email address 
uh, this email address here is being protected so you will need to have your email address list prepared copy and paste into here additional email just click add recipient add recipient if you like to customize an email if say this report is meant for your marketing person and not for yourself only and you want to customize a daily task for him you can click on customize email enable this box put a title put your message over here and every day you will send the same message the same subject title to him until you disable or change this customized message choose the report format would you like it to be in pdf csv or a html website once you're confirmed click onto the save if you just want to download the report just for a one-time view click on this download report it will open up a new page and give it a few seconds and and then you get your report okay so that's the end of our tutorial if there's any questions uh please feel free to contact us again thank you